Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Billy, and I want you to think back to the nerdiest thing you've ever done. And don't give me that bullshit about how, oh, it's not nerdy because I enjoy it. Fuck that. I'm being serious here. The nerdiest thing. Is it the board games that we play? Is it the books that you read? Is it the D&D &D session, the campaign that you've had going on for the past 20 years? Do you LARP on the weekends? Are you a Civil War reenactor? Do you cosplay? Any of those things. The nerdiest thing I've ever done hit me recently. And that's when I took a plunge, a tiptoe, a deep ass dive into a world that's always been intriguing to me as a gamer in general. There's plenty of video games about it. There's some board games about it. But I wanted to see what all the hullabaloo was. I maybe got into Warhammer. All right, Warhammer 40,000. This is the big starter Dark Imperium set. This is the tiny first strike set. And while this is beautiful and expensive, this is what I want to talk about. You might be watching this channel because you are a gamer. And if you're a gamer, you may stay away from certain things. You might not want to get into pen and paper role-playing games or RPGs or certain games that you like and don't like that you do want to keep track of. But I want to talk about Warhammer. If you're interested in Warhammer, awesome. I'm just getting started, so a lot of this stuff might not make a lot of sense. I picked up Warhammer because I played Horus Heresy, the fantasy flight game a long time ago. I love the Blood Bowl Team Manager card game. I played Relic, which is the re-implementation of Talisman. I really, really enjoyed it. I've been reading a couple of Warhammer books to kind of see if I like the world. It all seemed very serious, and it, it is. But a long time ago, I tried my hand at some War Machine, and it just didn't quite take, and I didn't know why. So I was like, ah, I give up. But then recently, with the new edition of Warhammer that came out, I believe, last year, and just a whole bunch of stuff, it's been kind of nagging at me. I thought I'd give it a shot. And so I picked up First Strike. This is the game that I want you to try because you're a board gamer. This game, 30, 40 bucks, it comes with a bunch of minis that are super easy to put together. You cut them out of their little suck at things, and then you put them together. You don't even need to paint them. They even come out in all, like, in all different colors. So there's like the, the green ones and the blue ones, and then they fight. Now, if you're like, oh, what? No, I don't want to. I'm used to buying my games and my minis are already pre-assembled. That's fine. I don't care. This is a little more detailed and you cut them out and you put them together. These are the bad guys. These are the good guys. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for kind of a primer on what everything is, don't worry. They got you covered. We have First Strike. Read this first. It even tells you. This is just some lore stuff. It's super bite-sized, digestible, some basic missions and things like that. And it comes with a rule book. This rule book is 24 pages, which is about as long as some of the rule books that we normally deal with. It has all the information that you need. And the missions actually, in typical board game fashion, give you a few rules at a time to get yourself acclimated. All for 30 or 40 bucks. It even comes with a little, the box is a little piece of terrain, and then it comes with a little play mat, not a board, a mat, for you to do all this with. Now, I don't know how deep I'm going down this hole. Like I said, I've already bought the big box that comes with the big rule book, and then there are some serious things to get into it, like painting and putting them together, and all the books and omnibuses and stuff that I've been reading. But it's fun. It's like an interesting way to really, if you've ever really wanted to get into the world of a board game, here you go. And if you ever wanted to dip your toe into Warhammer, this is me telling you, it's okay to do so. And for the cost of a relatively inexpensive board game, you can see if it's right for you. You can see if you want to do it. There are fewer rules than something like an Earth Unborn or Earth Unbound. What the fuck was that game? Earth Untold, Earth Unsomething. And it's not that complicated. Chaos in the Old World, I fucking love that too. You've been exposed to Warhammer through video games, through board games, it's been out there. Everything from Halo to Gears of War to StarCraft, it's all been feeding off of this. It's a very Lovecraftian, Judge Dreddy, big macho dudes beating the shit out of each other kind of thing. And there are ladies in here as well, uh, not Miss Box, but in the, in the universe. This is just a taste to give you a bit of an idea. Blue guys, Ultramarines, green guys, Death Guard. The Ultramarine is a type of space marine. I don't know, there are primers out there and they get into a lot of detail, but the only thing you need to know is the blue guys are working for the Emperor, they're the, the, they're the good guys, and they're super soldiers, and every ultramarine is a space marine, but not every space marine is an ultramarine. There's different chapters and things, and you can get into that if you want to. The little book has a little bit of it. Death Guard are one of the followers of one of the Chaos Gods. If you play Chaos in the Old World, the big green gross one that's on the cover, that's who they follow. 
So Warhammer and Warhammer 40K aren't necessarily the same world, but I guess they might be. I don't fucking know, but it's fun. It's a good universe to get into. And for this price, Games Workshops have done something that they should have done a long time ago. This box is a bit pricey. And if it's an entry point, there's no fucking way you're gonna pick this up. And I have to put together all these people? Oh my God, it's a nightmare. But these guys, they cut off these little things. These are called sprues, by the way. They just click, 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 cut off, and then they pop together, and the instructions are very clear on how to do it. Give it a shot, guys. I might be talking about this a little bit more in the future. I'm super new to this. I don't know my bolters from my storm bolters. I don't know what the fuck things are. Pick up a couple of books, whatever you find, and just go for it. If you like board games, give it a shot to see if you might like this. It's as much of it. And if you just buy this, it's a good game. It comes with missions the same way like a Descent or something like that would, but for half the cost. And it's a real interactive experience and you really feel like these are your guys. And it gives you a little bit of a tease on the rest of the stuff out there in case that's the direction you want to go. If you like the Orcsies, if you like, I don't know, Space Wolves and Imperiums and all sorts of... God damn, it's a deep rabbit hole, but it's a fun one. So this one isn't necessarily a hard 100 kind of thing. This is just like a hobby kind of thing. And this is something that, I might, that I'm kind of getting into. See if it might be right for you. As a board gamer, start here. First, first strike. Give it a shot. Most of the stuff on YouTube you're gonna find are people who live and breathe this, and they're not really telling you anything that you can really use. I'm telling you, it's less than a standard board game. It's got enough stuff in it as a full-size board game with the option of expansions that'll blow your fucking mind. That's all you need to know. Warhammer 40k. First strike. See if you dig it. And if you dig it, there are plenty of places to go. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Billy. Thank you so much for spending this time with me as I talk about kind of what I've been into lately and Warhammer. I'm looking at a table full of minis I gotta build and I'm okay with it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And a bookshelf, a bunch of fucking books I bought. I'm in deep, guys. I'm in deep. Peace out.